All right, guys, on today's video, we're gonna get our foundation walls formed and poured. There's only one issue, though. We only have four days with these forms. That's 15,000 pounds worth of panels, 900 pins and wedges. We've never done this before, and there's only enough forms to do half of the house at a time. So we have to form it, pour it, strip them, reform it, pour it, and strip it in four days. Let's go. All right, we started on this back wall because we figured it would go the fastest. That way we didn't have to worry about any corners or measuring with the filler pieces that I didn't show you guys. Uh, there's a ton of different sizes, so once you get close to your corner, you can measure, and that way you don't have to be limited on your foundation by those 32 inch increments. It started to rain a little bit, but that's okay for poured walls. It doesn't really affect it. When it's light, it might look bad on camera, but it was totally fine. When you're pouring, you really want to go slow. The pressure on these forms is unbelievable. It's 600 pounds every linear foot. So the whole foundation was 240,000 pounds of pressure, which is just crazy that these pins and wedges can hold that. But that's what they're designed to do. This is called a pencil vibrator. It vibrates the aggregate and kind of disperses it evenly and gets any air bubbles so you, your foundation wall is as smooth as possible. And you can see me on the left, I ran a string line and put these kickers in, that way I can straighten the wall. All right, we are going to strip the panels today. <sighs> Time to pick them up and move them all again. All right, we got the all the forms ready for the morning. Uh, we didn't, I didn't record this because it's very monotonous. 32 inch panel, three pins, three wedges, repeat. We definitely learned a lot. This was so much work. I've been out here hitting forms since five in the morning and it's 8.30 right now. Took about a 10 minute lunch break and that's been it. This, I'll show you. It was a lot of poured walls. Just have to plumb these corners and then in the morning um, we will put, run a string line and straighten out the tops of the walls and you kind of adjust it as you pour because it's going to change. So I got about an hour left to work and then it's time to get some dinner and hit the hay. We'll see you in the morning, we're gonna pour these walls. Okay, we got the walls poured yesterday. Now it's time to strip the last section, the second half. If you were to hit this without being careful, this would shoot out like crazy. So you have to bang it, releases, and then you gotta hold on to it so you don't lose it. You have to spin it, and you have to bang the sides to get the boogers to come out. So, only about 200 more panels to go. That was so much work, without a doubt, the hardest part of this whole house build. As far as lifting things, and in these four days, I've lost 14 pounds, which is a lot because I'm drinking probably two gallons of water a day, multiple Gatorades, so it's not only water weight, but this is a massive foundation, as you can see, is about 400 feet, 40 yards total. Um, right here in the front, we had five foot walls because we had to step our footings down. In the back, it's four foot. But as you can see, it's all 
the same level. Um, so basically we have to fill this up with sand and then our concrete will be flush with the top of this. And then depending on where it's at in the yard, the dirt will come up and backfill on the other side of the wall. Um, that was, some might say a foolish amount of work to do that ourselves. Uh, me and three other guys did it and then Chelsea and I stripped it today. It took us eight and a half hours to strip the second half of the foundation, stripping them, cleaning the forms and stacking them in the bins. Um, but this whole house project is about saving money and that's why we're doing it ourselves. Yeah, we're learning and yeah, we're teaching you guys, but the entire point of it is to save money. Uh, we don't want to be up to our neck in a crazy mortgage like some people our age and it's just it's it's the sacrifice is worth it to us because just by doing these footings and foundation we saved fifty to sixty thousand dollars which and that's including all of our costs for these that's how much we saved instead of hiring it done so is it a ton of work yes do we have calluses and blisters and work 20 hour days absolutely but Fifty to sixty thousand dollars is a real amount of money, uh, especially when we're 26, 27. So we got it done. It took us those four days, um, but this was for a long time the last part of the house that we were waiting on somebody else for. We had to wait for the guy to lend us the forms, uh, which has been four weeks since we poured the footings. So after this, it's really on me and on Chelsea uh, as far as scheduling goes. Uh, we're gonna try to get this thing done as fast as possible. Our goal is to get it dried in by winter. Um, which is a very hefty goal, but we uh, we don't really have a choice. We got to get this rolling. I'm not recommending this to any homeowner to do this yourself. I do flat work concrete for a living, so this is kind of the cousin of that. Um, but still, this is not something. This is not a task you want to take on as a homeowner with no experience. But it is possible. That's what Chelsea and I are trying to show you guys. Drop a comment below guys, let us know what you wanna see next on the house, or if you have any questions on the house or the build or how a house is built. Um, we're gonna be going through every single step, just like we're doing, starting from the footing, going all the way to the shingles and the trim. So, if you wouldn't mind giving us a like, that'd be awesome. Thank you guys, and we will see, whoa, that was a hump. Thank you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Hank, how did you get in here, buddy? Literally, how did he get inside? I'm just so curious how he would've done it. He doesn't even know how he did it. Here, give me the camera. You go lift him out. I don't understand how did you get in, buddy? No heart. Look at Harley! <laughs> Who do you think you are? Harley Brathburn. Oh, you're so dirty. <laughs> Spider dog.